All right, guys, so in this uh, video, I'm going to go through problem number 12, page 135. So in this uh, problem, we are asked to let P be a point on the graph of Y equals 1 over X, where P is just a point X comma Y. We're asked then to express the distance D from this point P to the origin as a function of X. Uh, use a graphing utility to graph d equals d of x and to use our graphing utility then to find what value of x will make d smallest. Okay, so I'm going to just do a quick sketch of what the function of y equals 1 over x actually looks like. Let's see if I can move my axes, x, y. And so y equals 1 over x y equals 1 over x kind of comes down right here as it does an asymptote at vertical asymptote at x is equal to 0 so it comes down like so and then on this side it also comes down like so roughly give you an idea it's actually symmetric about uh, that asymptote of course um, all right so we can choose a point then any point on this graph here We'll call this point x comma y and what we're asked is to find what is that distance uh, d here that distance d from that point x y to the origin all right so the distance formula between the distance between two points d is equal to square root of x2 minus x1, the difference in the x values, all squared, plus y2 minus y1, the difference in the y values, squared, and the square root of that. Okay, so in our case, our points are, our two points are x comma y, it's our generic point on our graph, and the origin, 0, 0. And so, Plugging these into our distance formula, our distance is the square root of x2 minus x1 will be x minus 0 squared plus y2 minus y1 all squared will be y minus 0. And that's squared. Okay, working this out, I get therefore the square root x minus 0 squared is x, x squared is x squared, plus y minus 0 is y, and so I have y squared. Okay, and so that is the distance from this point x, y to the origin. What we are asked to do is to find this distance as a function of x only. So here it is, as a, I have an equation for d in terms of x and y, and I want a function of, for d uh, in x only. In other words, I want d of x. And so in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace my y value here with 1 over x. We know that any point on this graph must obey this equation, and so y is equal to 1 over x, so my y value here is uh, equal to 1 over x. So in some way, this point x, y can be written as x comma 1 over x, if I so wish. And so, plugging my value for y in terms of x into my uh, distance formula here, I have my equation for my distance. I get the square root of x squared plus, and y squared will become 1 over x squared. Okay, well, that means then that d of x is equal to square root of x squared plus 1 over x squared, that is square the numerator, that's 1, square the denominator, x squared is x squared. And so the distance d of x is equal to the square root of x squared plus 1 over x squared. Um... And that's that first part of the answer, sorry, the first part of the problem answered. Uh, and so now we can go ahead and graph 
this function d of x using our graphing utility. Okay, so I'll go to y here. I'm going to input my values. So I have the square root, square root of x squared, that is x squared plus one over x squared. So that is one over x squared. If I graph that, I get that rather cool, funky looking graph right there. And that's it. Um, what I can do now is I can use my graphing utility to find the minimum value of this function. So the value of x is what, what we're asked for in the problem is the value of x that will give us a minimum value for d. Okay, so in that case, I'm going to go calculate. I want minimum, that's three. And let's see, I'll keep my left bound here, my right bound there. We'll calculate. And it finds that my minimum value, sorry, I'll that there steady. My minimum value occurs at x equals one and that that minimum value y is equal to 1.414. That minimum value of y is actually the square root of two, 1.414. And so the minimum value then is like the minimum value for d, maybe what we might call d min, occurs is equal to d of one. When x is one, we get a D, a minimum value for D. And this is actually equal to the square root of two. And indeed, if we were to look at our equation right here, if I put in D of one, you'll see that that is in fact what we get. The square root oops, right, of X is one, so that becomes uh, one squared plus one over one squared. And that is square root of one plus one, which is the square root of two. So I can say is approximately equal to 1.414. And that is the problem answered.